welcome. Before I get started today, I realized that I've been shooting these videos all wrong. Because it says in my in my title, the people stimulus check and stimulus package update. Well, the only problem I have is is I'm it's just me. And I'm just a person. I need the people. So what I'm re requesting is that my viewers help me out with this. I need to find a way to be able to transfer large files, video clips in particular, so I can get my viewers is to basically shoot some video of their surroundings of how bad the situation has gotten with the COVID-19 and the Congress slacking. So I can actually use those on my video and upload them to YouTube as part of my stimulus update. This way I can actually have the people's stimulus check as soon as package update because this way I will have the people in my video with me which I think is very important for me to have so if you actually like this idea uh, please let me know I will try to find a way to transfer video files only because that are large files because I'm not sure how many megabytes you can actually percent oh if it's transferred by uh what is it uh, MSN you can only transfer up to 25 megabyte file and certain video files are actually pretty large so I'm want to find a different way to actually transfer be able to transfer video files of my viewers sending me uh, the videos of their surroundings and basically how bad it's gotten for them since this whole pandemic started and how it was getting worse for them with our Congress slacking in hopes to basically maybe have our Congress see some of these videos and see that you know what they need to get off their butts and they need to start helping the people sometimes the price tag may be high to help the people out but when it comes to helping the people out you got you got to make an exception in this case i mean this is why I, this is why i want some videos of for my viewers of their situations and their circumstances to add to my stimulus updates to inform and enlighten a lot more people of what's going on so if you like this idea please uh give me a comment below and let me know if you're in and if not then maybe next time but for now let's start the, sh the good old uh people stimulus check and stimulus package update as of october 1st 2020. well regarding the, st the second stimulus check and second stimulus package the republicans have basically released their version of their stimulus package so currently we have three different stimulus packages on the table we have if you discount the the um the heels act that was like only 900 billion dollars you go with the problem solvers caucus one which was, which was the march to common grounds act which is 1.5 trillion dollars then you got the republicans heroes act 2.0 worth 2.2 trillion dollars then you got the republicans counter offer a name wasn't given but it's its total price tag is 1.62 trillion dollars so basically we got three different multi-trillion dollar offers on the table that all do include a second stimulus check and more paycheck protection money and let's see here <clears throat> nancy pelosi basically said that she was really fired up about the stimulus negotiations and she basically said she hasn't slept for the past two nights yeah i know when when right just wait for it <laughs> the politicians have basically successfully passed the um what's it called the, F the government funding act until december 11th of this year and basically posed both passed by the house the senate as well as signed into law by the president of the united states the weekly unemployment Unemployment report was released today as well. We have 837,000 new cases of uh, people fighting for unemployment. That's actually down 36,000 from the week before. So that's still not bad, but it's still not good either. I mean, if we're always having like six digits every week, that means the unemployment rate is going higher and higher and higher every single week. Which we need to fix that as well. Hopefully, when we get a good president into office, maybe Biden, um, he can fix that and give people back their jobs so they can be happy and they can feed their families and feed themselves and take care of themselves. That's very important. As we know, Nancy Pelosi is the leader of the Democrats and 
in the House of Representatives, and Steve Mnuchin is the Treasury Secretary. Well, the Democrats gave their $2.2 trillion stimulus package out, and the Republicans rep basically said, well, you know what, here's our counteroffer for your stimulus package. The, their offer, like I said, the counteroffer is $1.62 trillion. Which that's that's not like five point eight trillion uh five hundred eighty billion dollars shy of two point two trillion so that's not that bad. But, uh, here's the difference in both the Democrat and the Republican stimulus packages. Republicans want to extend the unemployment for four hundred dollars a week, while the Democrats want to ext extend it for six hundred dollars a week. For state and local government assistance or funding. The Republicans want to give $186 billion, while the Democrats want to give out $436 billion. For education funding, the Republicans want to give out $150 billion, whereas the Democrats want to give out $225 billion. Uh, the Republicans also want to give $5 billion, $5 billion less to the post office from what the Democrats want, since the Democrats want down to $10 billion for the post office. The Republicans want to give $5 billion for a post office, basically. And, of course, there will be a second stimulus check involved in this package as well. I don't know, if there, I don't see any, actually, boosters, as they're called, that if certain uh, things meet certain requirements, that a, a third stimulus check would go out. As in, basically, the Heroes Act 2.0 and the March to Common Grounds Act. So, basically, the Republicans Act is basically missing a third stimulus check. The other highlights of the Republican uh, stimulus package are basically, basically, let's see, we got $28 billion for student loan for assistance. We got $60 billion for renter's assistance and mortgage relief. $25 billion for child care assistance. $3 billion for the VA. $20 billion for farmers. $28 billion for airlines. The amount of the money is, the amount, basically, the, for the, the money getting going to the restaurants has not been agreed upon yet so I don't know about the restaurants quite yet and uh, Nancy Pelosi wants to get these stimulus packages voted on as soon as possible Pelosi said that Herman Mnuchin had an extensive discussion on the stimulus package and there are some things that need to be ironed out or better better clarified and that they will be proceeding on a vote on the Heroes Act 2.0 I lost my face. If the package passes the House, basically the House is going to vote on the 2.0 package. If it passes the House, it's going to go to the Senate where it's going to basically expect it to get a lot of resistance because of its price tag. And I mean a lot of resistance from the price tag. And I would like to remind you that the House is expected to go on vacation tomorrow. But Nancy Pelosi, like I said, she's planning to keep the, the House in session, even though the the um, House representatives are actually going to go back to their states and campaign. They're going to be on call, so when a vote is required, they're going to call them up, and they're going to basically come back and vote. Hoyer, one of the lead Democrats in the House of Representatives, basically said that uh, he told his fellow Democrats to keep their schedules flexible because... When they're called, they need to get here AS get to where they're voting ASAP on this package. In political news, the House, House and Senate is, did pass the um, the government funding bill. Sorry about that, and it was signed into law by the president. The government will be funded until December eleventh of this year, and at, at that point. They're going to come up, do another fund, government funding bill because this, they're just doing this to hold us over until after elections. Many companies have said that there will be massive, large scale layoffs. American Airlines and United Airlines say they, they plan to lay off 32,000 people. But large banks are also laying off employees. These banks are HSBC, Goldman Sachs, and Wells Fargo. Walt Disney also says it's going to lay off 28,000 people from his theme parks. So as things get better, as Trump wants to call it, things are getting worse because that's what's happening. 
I mean, come on, we, we got so far just with Disney and uh, the airlines, right there, we got 60,000 people about to lose their jobs. And I don't know about the three banks I mentioned. I don't know how many people they're laying off, but we're probably looking at about another 220,000 layoffs before the end of this year because of COVID-19's hit that hard. But like I said, I mean, I do want some viewer, some viewer video footage of their surroundings and their conditions as from COVID started to current date. Well, you can't really do that. I got you on that one. So, but um, of how, how their current situation is. So I can add it to my videos to show the world that you may think you have it bad, but we have it bad here too. So, and hopefully help inspire the Congress to actually get off their butts and do something proper to help the people out. But, and also if you do like my video content, please hit that subscribe button, which will be right over here. The little Phoenix icon icon is my subscribe button. And if you wish to leave comments, and I hope you do, please do, I would be more than happy to read them and reply to every single one I get, because that's just how I am. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Have an excellent day. Please stay safe out there, and remember, we're all in this together.